five four twenty one. That is it right here, right now. Just a quick update. The Nasdaq composite got tanked. It tested the fifty day moving average. Nasdaq one hundred. It was headed there. We could see where the buyers had come in. They stepped in a little bit right there. And this first pullback, people have a shopping list and whatnot. And that's exactly what they were doing. So when you take a look at the Russell, the rut, we call it, it had a big down day. It had a $51 range. Remember that this NASDAQ 100 update, you had 403 point range there. And in the NASDAQ composite, when it tested that 50-day moving average, that's when stocks caught a short-term bid and decided to go up. Right now, the after-hour market futures are slightly down, only 20. So that isn't anything like it was today. And that was selling, and the, that was a continuation pattern. They made it look good on the opening bell, gapped it up a little bit. Prices kind of ran up a little bit, and guess what? They just went lower. But when they hit key support levels, like we featured in the Google video, um, they did bounce on that first pass and whatnot. So that is a 409-point swing, so we know that. And the rut... That was a 51.75 swing, and all of these are from the top down, tested its 50-day moving average, and the Russell was left for dead over here, but then it came back, it outperformed as it always does and whatnot, but that is a big reversal. The triple Qs, we can see right here, they came down, the TQQQ, not the triple Qs, the TQQQ. So you got a T and triple Qs, all in, just type it in, and at a $9.45 range, and that's a big reversal. So that high was 103.69, down to the lows of 96.45 uh, pennies, and that's exactly what that was. Then you have the daily sell signal that goes with that ET up, and it's just a measurability of this four-day selling volume, but then it climaxed with this gap down, it tested those long-term trend lines referred to as the 50-day simple moving average and that's exactly what you got and that was the buy tail so right now as it stands unless something changes overnight and into the opening bell the futures in the nasdaq 100 by the way are down some so but not by much no they're not and that market in itself is right here in this futures chart and it too came down to test that 50 day and it popped up there and this is right now what's happening because they're open it's a new market and whatnot so when we take a look at these on a shorter time frame let's say a five minute level we're going to see here the consolidation and we are or a better snap shot of those futures in the after hours is going to be this chart right here and we can see where the futures had peaked as they did and then they came down as they did so this is how the nasdaq 100 futures are trading in the new opening and they open at 6 p.m eastern time and 3 p.m uh Pacific Standard Time, so you know the dates. So, right now they're only down 19.5. So, if you're holding anything overnight in this beaten down NASDAQ, then you would have to have put options on the other end of it to protect yourself. So, that way you got some kind of protection in there and whatnot. And that's exactly what we're doing in this case. So, things could get a lot worse. Because it's still early. They just opened up not long ago. A little over an hour ago, it seems like. So, uh, yeah. Hour and 45 minutes ago, they've been... So, that's the peak. 13.528 up here. And then we just came down. And then we're headed back up. And this is on a five-minute price action in the uh, NASDAQ 100 futures market. Okay? Okay. And that's exactly what this is. NQ June 
And so it's a June contract in those futures. And NASDAQ 100, when that goes up, then the futures aren't as bad. But they're still minus right now as we speak. They're still minus $19. Okay. Now 19.75. So if the futures gap down, then equities gap down in price, and then you would cash in on your put options when you're holding something like Google that bounces off the of support levels really well and whatnot. So now when we pop up, as you can see there, now we're only down 17 and a half handles, 17.5. But it's early because they trade all night around the clock, and then they trade. And they are in other markets, and so the other markets, world markets, will affect the cash market and the futures market. So we know that. And prices go up in equities. When futures go up, that's how you get gap open up in equity prices. A lot to learn, but it's all right. What I mean by that is take the free five-day trial and let it be known in the NQ and what to expect out of the uh, indexes. Again, let's go back over and recap that NASDAQ 100. That is a, a NASDAQ 100. We'll put it back on the daily chart so you can see it. And there it's coming to test it. That's always going to be the first test. The next thing is how deep that sales signal is, and that's minus 56.7. And that is on this MACD reading right here, MACD and whatnot. So you know exactly what the numbers are. When you have reversals, the stocks become weaker when this gets bigger in numbers. Your trends are weaker when this is bigger. Just like they're very strong when you have buy signals, when they're above this line. So, this is the first phase of the volatility reversal that the April had on, that we started the rally on Easter, April, and we went parabolically up, and then we hit the last calendar day of the month on Friday, as you all know, and bam, it started there, it carried over into Monday, and then capitulated down even more today than yesterday, as you can see, because it continued with the gap down to confirm a reversal. And they all have to do that to confirm a reversal. The support levels is how the price action, is it going to be strong or lousy? And you bounce off of support levels. So we'll find out. But we have the 50 and the red line is the 100 day. That's the red line right there on the chart. You can see it red. So that, that is the major, major support level for this NASDAQ 100 tech heavy related, okay? Now the Dow is different. It came back into positive territory and it did. So it was negative on the day, and it had a 382-point swing. But you have certain Dow 30 stocks that are in here that bounce under that, well, you can call it the value trade and whatnot. So same thing they did last November of 2020. That is the Dow ended up positive, and once again, the S&P now had a negative day, and it was a small gap down and testing the 20-day moving average, just like we featured that Google video, okay? And those are only down 50 cents, big deal. So we've made 35 highs this year in the S&P. So this is a market recap as far as all of these indexes that I've mentioned and shown. But the main focus is on this tech sector. And when we do come down and test it, then we bounce, and then the leadership stocks like Amazon and Google, and those stocks will bounce off of their lows like they did today, should we come down and test it. Now, we already got the test in the NASDAQ composite. Generally, the NASDAQ 100 will follow that test and test it. We can see the pop there. So once again, good luck. Sign up for the free five-day trial. Live market hours. We're here for 
the number one person, you.